Hey, what's up? This is Antonio. Welcome back to my channel. Know who's ready for some fighting words. In this video, I want to do a fight breakdown for Javante Tank Davis versus Frank Martin. Really quick, if you like the videos, please take the time to subscribe to the channel right now. Literally takes one click. Also, tell a friend. I've been saying that lately. I'm going to continue saying that. Tell a friend and circulate the videos. Fighting Words is here. And then I want the channel to grow. I Hopefully, you want the channel to grow. And also, hit the thumbs up button. It does help. It does show love. And it supports the channel. So, I'm just going to jump right into this nonstop. Let's go. We're going to start off with power. Who has more power between Javante Tank Davis and Frank Martin? Obviously, we're going to go with Javante Tank Davis. I not only think he has natural power in his hands, but I also think that he understands how to properly place punches and he understands timing and then he understands where to have his showdowns in the ring when you couple all that together you're gonna have an explosive punch most of the guys like ryan garcia and roly romero his last two recent uh, opponents said they never saw the punch coming and that's what gets you if you don't know when it's coming because he's choosing where to have his his uh his engagements with you in the ring and he sets you up for that engagement. And then he's just going to hit you with something you didn't see. But on top of that, I just think he has more power in his hands. Uh, speed. Who's faster? Is it Javante Tank Davis or is it Frank Martin? Um, that's kind of hard to say. I think Javante Tank Davis is an overall faster uh, boxer. But... That's really hard to say. I, I would still have to give it to Javante Tank Davis only because when I, I think of speed, I don't just say hand speed. I I, I, th I think, um, one, I think footwork in boxing is not something that is dying, but it's something that's very underappreciated. And when you have an individual who knows how to use his or her feet, you know, it's important. It's important to the fight. It's important to the, the, the person. It's important to the, uh, or against their competitor. Um, and when you have somebody who knows how to use their feet, they're, they're a pretty complete individual. And when I just say speed, I don't just mean hand speed. I mean foot speed as well. Because, it, it, you know, it's a, all of one package. And when you can put it together as a package, you become a very lethal and dangerous opponent. And I got to give it to Javante Tank Davis for that reason. I don't think he has faster hands than Frank Martin. Well, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm taking that back. I, I definitely think he has faster hands and, and everything I just said and more. One thing I do not like about Frank Martin, and I'm going to say this repeatedly, but one thing I don't like about Frank, Mar Frank Martin is all that muscle. He's too muscled. Like he needs to lose some weight. He needs to stop lifting weights. He needs to just slim down. And because of those muscles, I don't think he gets the speed that he could have because of those muscles. I think down the stretch, that's what Javante Tank Davis was talking about when he said he was a five round fighter. But I'll get into that later. So when it comes to speed, I'm definitely going to give it to Javante Tank Davis. Why? Because hand and foot speed and also a strike against Frank Martin for all the muscle. Uh, let's see. Mental toughness. Who's more mentally tough? Well, I mean, neither one of them has lost, so who's more mentally tough? I suppose they would be on par with each other. However, I would have to give it to Javante Tank Davis only because he's fought better opposition. So in that, for that reason, I got to give it to Javante Tank Davis, not to mention the stage and the platform that he's been fighting on. Uh, if you've been fighting on a bigger platform and you have more eyes on you and you have more expectation behind you and more marketing dollars um, on you, you know, then, yeah, I, I would definitely say, and you can handle the pressure, you can handle all the weight that comes with that, but then, yeah, I would definitely have to say it would be Javante Tank Davis. Frank Martin, in, in their press conference, did not look too comfortable. I, you know, it was the first time people were really asking him questions. It was the first time where he had, you know, repeated questions asked to him. And you can tell he wasn't used to that many reporters. He wasn't used to that many cameras or anything like that. So the question is, can you handle all the pressure that comes with this scene? Can you handle all the pressure... And the weight that that comes with a fight of this magnitude, that's the question. And I don't know. He he, he didn't know how to answer Tank's questions. And he he was very um, one word answery. You know, he, he didn't know how to mm, assert himself. He didn't look very comfortable in that setting. So at this stage, I'm definitely going to have to give it to Javante Tank Davis. Plus, to be honest with you, I feel like mentally speaking, Javante Tank Davis definitely has a, a residency in Frank Martin's head. So let's see, what's next? Boxing IQ. I do think Frank Martin is very knowledgeable, but when you look at the people who've been molding Gervonta Tank Davis and how he wins fights, I would give a slight 
pendulum, you know, pull over to the left for Javante Tank Davis for a few reasons. One, because there was definitely a time when Floyd Mayweather, that in my personal opinion, the best boxer of the last 50 years had, I'm not saying he had a large part or portion of training Javante Tank Davis, but he's definitely tweaked him. He's definitely worked with him. He's definitely sat down with him and he's definitely, um, you know, sharpened the blade that is Javante Tank Davis. And when you have somebody like that looking over you, you know, you really can only go but up in terms of in the ring. Um, not to mention it goes back to, you know, their resume, who who Frank Martin's fought versus who Javante Tank Davis has fought. You know, he's got he's got champions, you know, he's got he's got people who, you know, went to the Olympics. He's got he's got people like that. He's got, you know, he's got Ryan Garcia. Do I think Ryan Garcia is like the stud of all studs in the in the in the ring? No, I don't. And I've never said that. I've never been in, you know, a, somebody to say that. But I think for what he does, he does very well. You know, um, even even the way he, he shut down Isaac Pitbull Cruz with one hand, you know, Tank shut him down with one hand. And Pitbull's a very big power puncher, and he shut him down. You know, he, he, Cruz couldn't cut, touch him, he couldn't catch him. Um, and he fell into everything Javante set up, you know. So I still have to give that to Javante Tank Davis. I, I, I do think Frank Martin is a, a an excellent fighter. I I don't know if he's a fully all around fighter as of yet, because again, of the people that he's fought, um, you know, the Riviera fight, he looked, he looked as sharp as nails in that fight. But outside of that, I, I don't know. I, I, sometimes you just have to go with the safe bet. And the safe bet is Javante Tank Davis when it comes to boxing IQ. Versatility. Huh. I think this might be a shout out, by the way, but uh, versatility. Well, Tank has taken people out in, in, in many ways, you know, um, but but I think the most important thing in terms of his versatility is he learns how to adapt to the individual in front of him because there's a specialized way to beat whoever's in front of you. And it's not, well, I'm just doing me because Frank Martin kind of just does himself, you know, and I don't know. That's another question mark when it comes to Frank Martin, how well he uh, he mixes with other people. You know, when the going gets rough, how well he mixes with other people. I can see with Javante Tank Davis, how he mixes with people. You know, I can see the, the versatility in him, you know, because he'll put himself in a position where if he has to take a few punches just to land a solid shot that could possibly or potentially get a guy out of there, he's willing to do it. I'd seen him leap across the ring and take guys out with a hook to the head. We've seen him do it. We've seen him do some really cool things, you know, and it's it's very versatile. Um, and it's very versatile in, in terms of, all right, I'm just going to, so let's let's look at fighters like, like whirlwinds or, you know, tornadoes. And they're just going around, 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 around. Well, Tank will assert himself in the tornado to beat or stop the tornado. While some people say, well, you're a tornado and I'm a tornado, we're going to just collide. But Tank won't do that. He'll just find a way within the tornado to stop the tornado. And that's why I would say he's a little bit more versatile than Frank Martin. Uh, let's see. Defense. I'm definitely going to go with Frank Martin. I, I think Tank has some defense. I, I think he has to, I, his main defense is just jumping out of the way or, you know, running out of dodge. But if you have to just sit in the pocket, I don't feel like he has, I don't think he has the best defense in the world. I just think one of the things about Tank is he's a very, very, very durable guy. And because of that, he can allow for shots to graze him. You know, he might partially dodge something or, or slip something or paw something off. But because more importantly, he's built like a freaking tank. And because of that, he can allow certain things to happen. But when I look at Frank Martin, he's picking shots off. He's he's moving all over the place. He's doing his Canelo. You know, he's all over the place with that. Because, number one, he's not a power puncher. So, you know, he has to have a defensive mind. Um, and number two, Frank Martin, as Javante Tank Davis said, you don't like body shots. You know, you don't you don't necessarily like to get it. And there's certain people who don't like to get it. Neola, in a way, said this about Stephen Fulton. Well, pretty much about every American fighter, but he was talking about Stephen Fulton. He said they don't like to get hit. And this is, I'm sorry, you have to put yourself in the line of getting hit sometimes. 
I'm not saying it's the smart thing to do, and I'm definitely not saying do that. If you're in the ring or you're in the gym, do not do that. I'm just saying every once in a while, you have to understand where you are, and you're, on, you're in a boxing ring. You might get hit. Condition yourself to be hit, and be prepared mentally to be hit, because you could very well be hit. Simple as that. And you go look at a football player. He knows he's going to get tackled, you know, and he's conditioned to get tackled. So it's the same thing when you're boxing. Same thing. Uh, let's see. Cardio. He's better cardio. So Javante Tank Davis said that uh, Frank Martin is a, is a five-round fighter. And I contribute that to all the muscle, honestly. I, I feel like he could be a much better and much more complete fighter if he didn't spend so much in, time in the gym, you know, making his muscles look pretty. And so, you know, when it comes to cardio, if you know anything about muscles, you need you need air for them to breathe. You know, if you if you ever see a fighter drop his hands and just kind of shrug his shoulders, that's because the um, the blood in their veins, you know, like yeah, you need you need air for that, you know? So it's just like you need circulation. And with the bigger the muscle, you, the more you're going to do that, the more you're going to need that. That's why heavyweights, you know, they get real sloppy real quick because they're real big guys. Um, and however, Javante Tank Davis is known to take a round off or two or just be lazy in the round. So honestly, when it comes to cardio, I'm going to give it a draw. Uh, let's see. Um, who's more creative? I might give this a draw, a, a, a tie as well. Um, who, who's more creative between the two? I, I would definitely say Tank is a flashy guy, you know, because all his finishes are very dramatic and they kind of spring from nowhere. A lot of times you'll see Tank losing and then he wins and he does that a lot. He'll be losing, 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 and then he wins, you know? So it's just like, I don't know. When you, I look at Frank Martin, he puts his hands together really well. His combinations are slick. Um, I might actually just give this, uh, a tie. I'm just going to give this one a tie to be, to be fair because Frank Martin puts his hands together beautifully, especially when he's flowing and he's feeling it beautifully. However, the way Tank finishes guys is very creative, like, and you don't see it coming. So you, you got to give him credit for that. So I'm just going to say a tie just to be safe and be fair. Uh, punch output, Frank Martin, hands down. Javante Tank Davis is not throwing a lot of punches. He's going to spend two, three rounds just computing everything you do and getting your footwork and, and your, your mojo and your speed down before he does anything. So um, Frank Martin, hands down, when it comes to punch output, he's going to throw a lot of punches in sequence. He's going to throw a lot of combinations. Let's get it. He's not a power puncher, so he's going to have to do Frank Martin. First knockdown. Uh, let's see. Body work. Javante Tank Davis is a tremendous body puncher, all right? Tremendous. He can stop you with that body shot. And he feels strongly after they've sparred, uh, him and Frank Martin, that his key to victory is going to the body of Frank Martin. So when it comes to body shots, I got to give it to Javante Tank Davis. And I I feel like that's definitely, definitely going to be a key point in this fight, body work and, and sustained body work and how uh, body work is taken. I feel like that's going to be a... a, a a really big um, theme of this fight. And I, I really do feel like this is going to be a closed quarter fight. I don't feel like there's going to be a lot of space between this fight in this fight. And I, I feel like it's going to start off and continue off that way until either it's stopped or it goes the full duration of the fight. Oh, uh, let's see. Durability. Who's more durable? Javante Tank Davis. Are you kidding me? You see the size of his neck? Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis can easily... When he's not training, he can hit like 165, 170. Like he can he can get pretty big. He's a very thick dude. So like, yeah, Javante Tank Davis. Again, Frank Martin doesn't like to get hit. You can look at any of his fights. That's not a knock on him. And boxing is to hit and not get hit. So I'm not knocking him for it. But when the growing gets tough, Javante Tank Davis. Uh, let's see. My favorite category. Danger. Who's more dangerous? Push comes to shove. Who's more dangerous? You get into a bar fight. Who do you want? You want Frank Martin with you or you want Javante Tank Davis with you? Who's more dangerous between these two guys? I got to give it to Javante Tank Davis. One punch knockout power. Um, very explosive. Um, once he's once he's in it, he's fully committed. Like And he punches with his eyes open, which is really important. You see a lot of guys, they don't punch with their eyes open. So either you don't believe in yourself or you, there's a little bit of fear. Something's coming back at you. Punches with his eyes open. Um, very accurate. Um, pr precise and sharp puncher um, and knows how to place his shots. I got to give it to Javante Tank Davis. He is 
by far more dangerous than um, Frank Martin. And when I look at my tally, I have Javante Tank Davis winning. Uh, 